boat going by. I see a boat. Mommy takes it. Mm. Yeah. Big boat or a little boat? You got it? Good shot. That's really good. I'm very excited. Very, very good. Try again. Oh, not on your face. <laughs> Fantastic. On the good. Oh. 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 Yeah, easy does it. Hello, welcome to my little morning. Still waking up, sore. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to share my little my little bubble in the world here. I like to sit here before Daniel wakes up. It's a little before eight right now. The nurse will arrive shortly. When the nurse gets here, the, the house comes alive a little bit more. Oh, I could probably sleep if I wanted to until eight ish but I don't I get up I have my alarm set for quarter of seven take the dogs out first thing grab some coffee and I sit here and now I have been doing meditations in the morning now for I'm gonna say good solid year at least but as of recently I've done 68 straight days on insight timer so Having consecutive sessions is something kind of new to me. I mean, I've always like done some and then I break off for a couple days and then I do some and then I break off for a couple days, but I have consecutively meditated every day, sometimes just sitting in stillness and I set the timer, which is cool. Insight Timer has like different bells so you can practice just being in stillness or you can engage in one of their many, many, many uh, just beautiful meditations. You can listen to music, you know, like like very ambient music that helps you stay still and think and not think or whatever you do. Um, I take courses, so you can choose that because I like to engage with a certain person every day and just learn something new. I'm always trying to learn, so it's kind of like my little mini school on you know different different things like chanting and uh, transcendentalism and just beautiful different things of relaxing spirit guides spirituality whatever I just sort of like choose things that speak to me so it really evolves into sort of in uh, taking it's kind of like taking a canvas and saying okay I want to take a deep journey into something beyond that which is in front of me and around me. Where do I go? Because I am my own guide. So it gives you sort of a guide. And you'll know, like you know when you, I hit upon something and I'm like, yeah, I'm really not feeling this right now. Because I think like, like I'm doing okay. Like I did a whole lot of abundance manif manifestation workshops, which I love, but then I, I've moved more into more spiritual stuff. And right now I'm doing courses on writing and poetry, which is really speaking to me. Um, so I have this little cart. And well, what I do is I sit here, I usually have my headphones because headphones are important, especially when you're really, you know, listening and breathing and letting the, the music sort of take you or the words of your guide or whatever it is. And I, I know I sound a little bit ambiguous, but that's just because in the, the world of meditation, you know, there's just so many different types and so many different things that you can do to begin to understand your higher self. So, oh, and I did a lot of, um, uh, you know, studying the chakras and I'm going to come back to that because the third eye chakra to me has been uh, a very powerful exploration of something I just really never knew I could do. And yeah, it's really going inward has been incredible and I love it journeying they call it right journeying so I keep my little cart over here I have my little headphones and this little cart I just bought a little while back and I like it because not only do I like to write and journal but I'm pretty interested in just 
expressing myself through art. So a lot of times in my courses, like I was doing this one course and um, he like visualized things like, oh, you're in this room and you're looking at this picture and you're doing all these things. So instead of visualizing in my head, I started writing and drawing stick people and being in a room. And then when I went back and looked at it, I was just like, wow, that's pretty cool. I like wrote the story of the meditation out as I was listening to it and I drew it poorly, <laughs> poorly, very poorly. So anyway, I like to write, I like to journal. Like I was just gonna show you guys, like I started thinking about the sea and then I started just chiseling away with some colored pencils randomly. And then that happened. <laughs> so in the little cart, I've got notebooks, pencils, sketchbooks. I've got reading books, I've got poetry books. I'm reading this one. The nurse is here, the nurse is here. The nurse is here. Daniel's nurse is here. Well, Henry, who's here? Oh, Holly. Uh, I'm kind of comfortable, Mom. I don't want to get up. Anna's here, Holly. Holly, go see her. We love to get the door. We love to get the door. We love to get the door. Holly. Hi, Henry. What you doing? Hello, world. Oh, what a day. So I'm feeling a little bit uh, more cheerful than I was earlier because I got some things out of the way. I had therapy at noon. It's Wednesday. I always have therapy at noon on Wednesday. And then I had a doctor's appointment to go and talk about my stomach issues or my body problems or my whatever diarrhea ugh, issues that I had this weekend, my sickness. And basically I'm gonna be referred to a gastroenterologist just as follow up. And it's three to five years they tell you to have colonoscopy. And I had mine three years ago to the month. Of May so I'm in the window anyway so they're probably going to refer me for that they drew a lot of blood to check for infections and inflammation markers and kidney and liver functions and all that crap it, it sounds really like I had some kind of episode like a food poisoning or something that was very jarring and that's what caused me to have some bleeding out of my bum <laughs> TMI, I'm 55, okay? There are things in life that you need to be careful about, so I think everything's fine. Let's just hope. And anyway, I'm gonna have all the tests done and get everything taken care of regardless. It was just making me nervous. I just didn't feel like going to the doctor today, but I did, everything's good. Went to Target, picked up a new soap wand for my sink because mine fell apart. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. Everything's good. <laughs> Leo, you're so brave. Yeah, we're going to your checkup. Yeah, you're okay. Couple minutes. You're okay. I know it's fine. You're nice and safe. We're just waiting to go in. Got the whole crew here. Dog. Other dog should be back there somewhere. Uh, water. I don't know. Good morning. It's Thursday and I'm at the vet waiting for them to answer. Because Theo, Henry, and Holly all have appointments for random things. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Poor Theo. He's like, what's going on? And the dogs are anxious because they don't know why Theo's. Thank you for holding. Hello, it's Julie Hasselberger. I have Theo, Henry, and Holly out here. Okay, and what car are you in? I'm in a white uh, Subaru Forester. Hello. Even kitties need to have a checkup sometimes, TT. Yeah, you're a good boy. She's okay. You worried about Holly? She's coming right back. We are at the vet having our checkups. Good boy, Henry. Yes. Hi, 
What are you doing? You waiting for Tio? <laughs> Holly, what are you doing? piano happy hi happy Thursday Thursday afternoon I'm editing and Dan's taking a nap and the nurse just left I only had a nurse till four because the regular nurse uh, is out and she was just filling in until the other nurse till four now it's just me and Daniel and Thomas in the house it's almost five. Oh, that's the alarm Dale's room. Let's see what's going on in there. I thought he was asleep. He is asleep. Uh, no, he's awake. Yeah, see, I'm looking. I thought he was asleep. Anyways, he's watching TV, it looks like. No, well, maybe he is asleep. <laughs> I'm gonna let him rest for a few more minutes. I'm just trying to get my video uploading and then think about dinner. John comes home tomorrow, but very late, and I'm dealing with that. Okay, she drank her coffee, she meditated, she wrote a poem, she texted her family, she said good morning to her doggies. I don't know where my kitty is, but there he is. Hello, darling. Hello, darling, T.T. Hello, honey. Good morning, sweet cat. Mm. We're filled with the giggles. <laughs> oh, are you cold? Because they just changed them. So let's, let's not show your diaper. Let's just, just put this over here. The blanket's on you. You're filled mm. with the giggles, T.T. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks like a dog here. You gigglies. <laughs> yeah, you see that? You're so happy. Mm. We love you. Mm. Yeah. We are on our way to New Haven. And that's just because we're dropping Thomas off at the train station because it's Friday. But I don't have a nurse today. Okay, so what am I doing today? Um, not sure. It's Friday afternoon. And while well, there's a lot of things I could do that aren't like uh, the thrill a minute. I think I can't do them because I'm Daniel's caregiver. I was just, <laughs> Daniel was just laughing with me and I came in here to get him up because I said, you know what, you might gotta get you up, but now that we're asleep. Look, are you asleep? I think we got ourselves a napper. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm going to go start working on something. I feel like I need to be creative. Are you asleep or are you resting? <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to get up again? After our drive? We went on an adventure to New Haven today. With Thomas. Right? Do you want to get up? It's four o'clock. You know what? I think I'm going to try to get him up because he's peeking at me. Because mm -hmm. that way, you know, if he goes to sleep now, it's... I was thinking about engaging in some painting. I'm not sure. Let's see if I do it. Mm -hmm. Do you like to be hanging? Mm -hmm. Tell me how you really feel. Are you having a great day today? Mm -hmm. Are you having a good day? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like me the most? Yeah, you like when mommy's all attentive to you? I know. It's the best. It's the best. I love you. You're doing a good job. I'm so proud of you. I really am. I'm going to put you down in your chair now, huh? You feel like you're in a recliner or a hammock hanging. Imagine if we had this outside. How nice would that be? 
Just relax. Or maybe a giant one. Mommy could sit in there with you. Wouldn't that be fun? Do do do. Yeah, let's go see. What am I gonna do? Oh, this guy. Is that what you're trying to do? Because, you know, we're going to go to the Cape this summer. Going to paint over there by... Quite a bit, you know, Cape Cod. So, kind of looks like that sometimes, but it's... That's New Jersey. But we're going to go to the beach at Cape Cod. So, I thought maybe we would explore some ocean colors and just experiment this afternoon. Want to try to do that? Think about it. You're thinking about it. You're you're really thinking about it. I can tell because you're you got the little wrinkle in your forehead. Sometimes I think he's like, wait, what are you doing, mommy? Anyway, I'm kind of um in a subdued mellow mood today. You what? I didn't let him take a nap before because it was getting late, so we're going to uh in in the spirit of the upcoming summer and June being right around the corner and many weeks at Cape Cod this summer. We're going to uh, try to see if we can paint another uh, beach scene or two or more. But usually one piece takes us a while because he'll get tired so, or we'll have to let it dry and then come back to it kind of thing. So whatever. We're going to whatever and explore. And uh, he likes to watch the videos. Okay, we have phalo blue. I don't know what brilliant blue is. We need white. Let's see what else. Blue screens, blue screens. I think I have a different blue. Silver. Where's the other blue? Please hold. I gotta find the blue. So we can do this one, Tom, Daniel, Thomas, because I'm looking at the colors that they list and I have most of them, if not something very similar. So here we go. All right, Daniel. You ready? You got me. I need, let me adjust my. I'm trying to give, give you guys a good view here, but it's tricky because he's very, he, oh, Daniel, he's a little fresh right now. All right, Daniel, you ready? You ready? So let's, um, let's just start at least with the blue sky. See what she's doing? She made it, this is, um, Cerulean blue and white. We're gonna hold this in your left hand. You got a funny look on your face. You're you're silly today. Here we go. You see yourself in there? Here he is. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go about a third of the way down and paint some blue. See? So now I want you to try. You got it? You're holding it? Let's see if I can get this to work. Look at the painting. You like the blue? this tight. Ready? Mm. I, I think he wants to do this, but he's, he's being a little silly. Being a little silly today. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Hi. This is, so we made a horizon line. We blended the sky. And now we're just going to pull all the blues down and pull some of the sky color. I'll help you. We'll just do hand over hand with this one. This chair is a little lower than my other chair. All right. I'm going to hold this one. Right? And I want, I want you to feel the brush going side to side. Okay? Think about we're at the ocean. We're looking at the water. It looks really green. 
There's a little breeze. Maybe some seagulls. There's a boat going by. I see a boat. Mommy takes a Yeah. Big boat or a little boat? Oh no! No, <laughs> oh, I bless you. Ooh. That was a big sneeze. And what you don't want the poke is. Well, as you can see, he's got. A Got a brush basically in his own control. He looks pretty happy about it. He was just looking. Please hold. For some reason, I'm having some technical difficulties. See, he's got one of these easy holds on. And he's in a really good mood and he's very attentive. I want to see you paint on your little canvas. Is that easier for you to manage? Is there something giving you the sneezies in here? No. How about you want to blend your colors? So, what you do, Dan, look. Good. You, do, well, you want to do it with your hands? You can do finger painting. That's always fun. Doesn't matter what you do. It's the whole point is just experiment with the paint and the colors see mommy has it on her fingers too blue fingers magic blue fingers yada daddy you gonna paint our friends in camera world we don't want to put we, your nose is running all right maybe you're a little sneezy in here okay hold on um, we are artists daniel we're very very world famous artists. Dan is going to show you his art technique. Come on, show him. You were just doing it. Use your paintbrush. No, not on mommy. On the... <laughs> over here. Yeah. You got it. Good shot. That's really good. I'm very excited. Very, very good. Try again. Oh, not on your face. <laughs> Fantastic. On the good. Oh, 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 oh. It easy does it. Very nice. I like your war paint. Okay. He's doing it. Ah. You want some different colors now? All right. Dale, that was amazing. It's just that I thought you were going to paint yourself. Here, let's get the big one. You want to do the, do the big one? Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead, do the ocean. Add to the blue. You can do it. Do it again. Here, I'm holding it for you. Hand up. You need more paint? Fantastic, Daniel. Let's get some more paint for you. Fantastic. We're going to let everything dry now and come back to it. But he did really well this time. He's got paint on his hands. He painted his own face, but that's okay. That can happen, Daniel. I get messy too. I think part of art is a little messy. Huh? You want to go wash? Let's go wash and we'll, we'll find another project. Got a 
that's where we got. All right, I was just cleaning up. And then we watched Encanto and sang and danced. Oops. I'm tired. I'm tired. Now I'm just gonna do Daniel's seizure meds. Get him all the rest of the way to bed and then I'm gonna go upstairs and crash. Because it's kind of been a long day. Like I feel kind of like I need to go night nights. The dogs are waiting for me. John's coming home tonight, but not until like late, late, late. So not staying up. I probably will in my bed.